All right, so I bought a stab-proof vest from Amazon. I actually bought a couple of them. I bought a couple of stab-proof vests and a couple of things that aren't stab-proof, but I think could be stab-proof. So we're gonna try them all out and see what works. The first thing that we're gonna try is this with our, oh, Gertrude doesn't have a head. She needs a head. There we go. There, now she looks more realistic. Anyway, the first thing that we're gonna try out is this. This is a uh, either cut proof or cut resistant shirt. I don't expect this to be stab proof, but since it's cut resistant, maybe it'll deflect a stab or two. I also read that apparently most stabbings happen with uh, kitchen knives, which is kind of odd. I wouldn't have thought that. So this is gonna be kind of our control. I used this in another video. And I think I made this one razor sharp. Let's see. Okay, that literally just cut straight through. Maybe if I go gentle. Also cut straight through. What kind of what kind of cut proof shirt is this? Oh, that kind of deflected it. Straight through, straight through again. What is this? So I also bought, along with that, I bought a cut resistant uh, arm protector. Look at that. Also cut right through. That is significantly worse than I thought. I guess let's try the stab. If you were wearing that shirt, you'd be dead. Oh, I thought that. I thought that was gonna come out. Come on, jeez. There we go. Oh yeah, you're, you're dead. No doubt about it. What about the arm? Yikes. You're in rough shape. All right, those did uh, about as I expected. Not very good. All right, our second item is this. This was labeled as a non-Newtonian fluid plate. Not sure what that means. I know what a non-Newtonian fluid is, which for those of you that don't know would be like cornstarch or water. Something that hardens up on impact, but it is soft if you go slow, I guess. So maybe where it's a non-Newtonian fluid, maybe whenever the knife tries to pierce it, it'll like stiffen up and not let it in. I'm gonna have to just tape this one. There we go. This is top tier safety right here. So let's try maybe a little slash with this one. Whoa. That did better than the cut proof shirt. Oh, that got through. But just barely. You would literally be more protected with this than the shirt. That just barely made it through. If you can slice through it that easily, the chances of a, a stab probably aren't that great. That might have protected it. It didn't go all the way in like the other one. There's my stab. Oh, it made it through, but just, I mean, it's just the tiniest little hole on the other side. You would, you would have been far better off than with that shirt. That's for sure. All right, now. Oh, oh. Somebody really kind of sticks it to you. You're, uh, you're really in a bad spot. This is labeled as non-Newtonian fluid, but this is literally, there ain't, no, there ain't no fluid in here. So there's just foam, no fluid in there at all. So I think it's fair that we do the sword test because a sword's a little bit bigger. So maybe a bigger surface area, maybe you won't really get through. Mm. Nah, you're so dead. You are so dead. Let's try again. Oh, that's like a good, that's all the way into your organs. You're really, really, really dead. So what about, uh, what about throwing knives? Oh, I have ninja stars too. I completely forgot about the ninja stars. 
Let's throw some ninja stars and some some throwing knives. That deflected that. I think you'd be all right. Let's try that again. Yeah. So there's one poke here, one poke here. That did not get through on the first one. It did not get through on the second one. Ninja stars, you're completely safe. That's actually, that's kind of incredible. All right, so we've switched out Gertrude for a punching bag, which is a more uh, human-like thing that's not gonna fall over every two seconds. I feel like that's gonna be, we have to have a little bit of like give, kind of like a human would. I put a new plate on there. Now let's try some phone knives. And I'm not very good at throwing knives, so this will be kind of interesting. Oh. I hit with that one. Ooh. That went straight through. So you're not good against throwing knives. And these things aren't even really that sharp, at least on the sides. They are they have a pretty pointy tip. <clears throat> That's pretty much it. Let's see if I can get one to stick. No. Oh, another one got stuck in though. That one didn't go through. So that's not bad. Ooh, that went through. Yikes, okay. So, Ninja Stars, you're all right. Throwing knives, not a chance. All right, now this one, this is for motorcycles and it's got hard plastic. So I think this is gonna be extremely good at preventing some stabbing. Cause you can obviously, you can slash it all you want. Absolutely nothing. Hard as a rock. Let's well, stab it. Oh. Did not go through. And it's like kind of stuck. Oh, if I wiggle it, I can feel just barely the tip. But you, you absolutely would be fine. You would not be cut from that at all. That's kind of crazy. Let's try something else. Something I am curious about is like a little small knife, like this one. This is very small, but it's also extremely pointy. Oh. Did not go through. Not even if I wiggle it. Crazy. Okay. All right, now we're getting somewhere. What about a bigger, heavier knife? Like a cold steel Bushman. Made out of one piece of rolled steel. Ooh. Oh yeah. That got through. I wanna show you, I don't know if you can see it. That got through maybe like I don't know, eighth of an inch. Somebody who commits stabbings, how many of them are gonna be carrying a Bushman? I mean, just like that, you're good. You're good. Oh. Oh yeah, you're probably, oh that's all, oh yeah, that's all the way in. Okay, so down here, you're not so good. Oh, that, completely good. Okay, so the top has more more armor than the bottom. That did not get through. Okay, you're real good. What about this is the front the front side? Oh yeah, you're dead. You're dead. Oh. Oh yeah. That's really not bad. Let's give it the old sword test. All right, so with a sword, you are absolutely dead. That's uh, that's unfortunate. Hopefully nobody comes at you with a sword. Oh, that's actually not too bad. That way, 
up at the top, you're probably not going to be dead. But you're not going to be very happy. You know what I mean? What about a spear? Oh, you're good with a spear. You're so good. Ooh. Ah. Okay. Maybe not with a spear. Let's, uh... Okay, let's just move on. So this next one, it's got like some type of uh, like just plate in there or something. I'm not entirely sure what, what it is. So we're just going to start off light just with some little, little ninja stars. You know, maybe you find yourself in a little ninja star battle or something. Who knows? Start off with this one. This one usually does the trick. Okay. We are good. We are not penetrated. Come on, swing back around. All right, none of them penetrated. We are good. So if you're in a ninja star battle, you're golden. How about a throwing knife? See how slick that was? Ooh. We're in. And you're in, you're not, you're not in horrible shape, but you're going to have to seek medical attention pretty quick. Ooh. Oh yeah. All three of those, you're in rough shape. So don't go getting in any throwing knife battles. Let's see about the kitchen knife. Ooh. Oh. Okay, that's you're having a you're having a rough time, rough time. Spear. Oh, that did not go through. Let's go, kind of lunge like we would like an elephant or something. Ooh, okay, yep. Also not having a good time. Sword. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, if I was you, I'd probably stay away from this one. Unless you're gonna get into some ninja star only type of battles, then I could see where it'd be beneficial. But if you're gonna if you're gonna be around kitchen knives, spears, swords, throwing knives, this ain't the one. All right, now this one, this should be the one. This is the one that was labeled stab proof. The, on Amazon, this thing is even labeled explosion resistant. Whenever you feel it. It's not that thick, and it doesn't feel like... I don't think it's going to, like, stop a knife. But, hey, what do I know? So, let's start, let's just go ahead. Let's just start small. We'll start off with a little tiny knife. I, I thought that amount of force would be enough to get through, honestly. Okay. I didn't get through. Still didn't get through. We're off to a good start. Jump up to the kitchen knife. Please don't go straight through. Okay. Did not go through. Ooh, I got a little close on that one. It's not through, but I can, I can feel it. All right. No, not a chance. Okay. Nothing. Jump up to the Bushman. This one pierced right through that other one. Nope. Not a chance. No. Still not. So I guess we don't really have to test, but I guess we know ninja stars aren't going to go through. Oh, it's stuck. Nope, nothing. The sword. Sword has to go through, right? Are 
Are you kidding me? It didn't even puncture it at all. It just bent the sword. You'd be completely fine if you got attacked by a sword. How about a spear? Are you kidding me? Nothing. Literally just bent the spear. Go for the back. Ah! Nothing. Maybe if I get a running start. Like I'm chasing an animal. Ah! Nothing. But actually, you know what? Maybe it, I think I might have something. All right, so a knife didn't get through. But what about this? This is essentially just like a... Kind of like an ice pick. It's a, it's a tiny bit bent, but it's just a, a straight poker. Let's see if this gets through. If anything, actually, now that I think about it, if anything's gonna get through, it's probably gonna be this. No. Not at all. No. I mean, I have the katana, but I don't think that's gonna do anything. No, not even close. The katana is razor sharp. So what about if we just, what if we slice into it? Oh, we got a pretty good cut. All right, just for fun, what about some blow darts? These things have been shown to penetrate pretty good. Oh, one of those might be. Oh, this one right here. It's, I mean, it, it's like a quarter of a millimeter, maybe. I can just barely feel the tip, but it's in. So a blowgun is gonna be about the first weakness. I do wanna try this knife just because I do know for a fact that this one is completely razor sharp. Wow. I feel like it made it deeper than the other one, but not really. Oh, I thought it I heard something move. I thought I snapped the tip off. No, still didn't make it through. So one last thing. I, <laughs> I have a feeling this should go straight through. If it deflects this, I'm gonna be impressed. All right, let's see. That, I mean, I think that's in, but that's actually not as bad as I was expecting. That's not bad at all. Oh, I wish I could show this to you guys. Oh, I might be able to. That's only sticking out maybe like quarter inch or so. If you if you were wearing this, that would, and you got shot with a crossbow, that would legitimately save your life. That is crazy. I'm impressed. I'm super impressed with that. Let's put a uh, let's put a broadhead on this and then see what that does. All right, if I was a betting man, I would bet that this right here is going straight through. All right, here we go. What even happened? The force of it like snapped off half of the bolt. I've never seen that before. So did we get through? Oh, bu <laughs> oh, buddy, did we get it through? Although we didn't get through that much. Yeah, if you can see, this was maybe like that. So we got maybe just the whole broadhead worth of arrow inside of the bag. I mean, really, if you were wearing that and you got shot with a crossbow with a uh, broadhead, you're, you're not going to be very happy, but considering that normally, if you got shot with a crossbow with a broadhead, it would just go straight through you, no problem, just like it would a deer or anything else. But with this, you're still gonna be cut, but you're gonna be a lot better off than if you didn't have this. So that's actually still impressive, especially for something that's only made to stop like knives and just like pointy objects. To be able to stop a, a crossbow, crossbow broadhead that much, that's pretty crazy. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you learned something. See you in the next one.